Good evening folks, Princess Sin here, and today we're going to smoke Cornish Hens on the Traeger. Real easy to do, just a few simple ingredients, and Cornish Hens are actually a lot uh, tender than uh, regular chickens are. They tend to be a little greasy, but that's okay. So, without further ado, we're going to go over the ingredients. Okay, for your Cornish Hens, you're going to need chicken rub, any kind will do sage, rosemary leaves, melted butter, we're going to melt that in the microwave, and an orange. Now what do you need the orange for? You're not going to use the whole orange, you're just going to cut two small wedges. They're going to go into the cavities. And you will need two Cornish hens. You notice how I have the legs tied and the wings tucked? The wings aren't going to stay tucked, but as best as you can, tuck them in the back and tie the legs off. And now, without further ado, we'll get these uh, Cornish hens going. Alright, we're going to baste the chicken with the melted butter. I like to start with the back first. Don't be afraid to use a little extra, folks. It will not hurt these birds. And don't be afraid if the wings come apart, folks. We'll tuck them again before that we put them in the Traeger. Okay, so after they're all nice and buttered, we're going to sprinkle the uh, chicken rub on. Oop. Stubborn. There we go. Be nice and generous with it, folks. Okay, we're going to pause for a moment because I got some large clumps in there I got to uh, get rid of. There we go, that's much better. Broke up the clumps inside the canister. Yeah. I'm just going to guess that a little moisture got in there and caused it to clump, which is, it's okay. And like I said, folks, don't be afraid to be generous on the uh, rub because this is what's going to flavor the chicken. Give it on the wings. And if you want to sprinkle a little bit on the inside of the cavity, you can do that too. And you'll have to forgive me, folks. I ran out of rubber gloves, so I'm kind of cheating using a plastic wet bag. Okay, now that we've gotten the uh, spices on there, the uh, rub I should say, we're going to take the uh, rub sage and sprinkle a little bit in the cavity. I have to hold the chicken up. And it'll go in there. Now, 
work it in there. There we go. Do the same with the other chicken. A little sage. Just kind of tuck it in there. All right. Whoops. Do a little rosemary too. Tuck it in there. These cavities are so small, it's just a little difficult to do. That's okay, they're in there. All right, we're gonna pause this now and cut up the orange. Well, I'm out of bags, folks, so I'm going to have to grab the chicken with my bare hands. Whoops, and my tie just came undone. That's all right. Just kind of stuff it in the cavity. Like that. And what that does is it gives the uh, bird a little extra moisture inside so that it doesn't dry out. So we'll... Actually, that one's got too much rind on it. We'll use this one. And see, like that. And then just stuff it in the cavity. Alright, can you see that? Alright. Okay folks, and that and now our Cornish hens are all prepped. We gotta retie the legs and then we're gonna put them on the Traeger. So we'll see you out on the Traeger. Okay, start your Traeger to smoke. When it uh, starts smoking after four to five minutes, set the temperature to 350 degrees and make sure you have mesquite pellets. That's what we're using this time, mesquite pellets. Now you can put these chickens right on the grate. Uh, we're gonna put them here in the shallow pan. That way it don't get so greasy down there. And we let them cook for 90 minutes. So we'll see you in 90 minutes. It's been 90 minutes, folks, so we're gonna check them. Stick them in the breast. Watch that digital thermometer. If it reads 165 or higher, we're done. And that one's done. That one's done. There it is. So now we're going to cap our thermometer. We're going to shut our trigger off. Ow, that hurt. Years from now, you'll all laugh at that. But again, it's windy out here. We're going to take these in the house, folks. We'll see you inside. Hens tend to be more tender than uh, actual whole chickens do because they're baby hens. Because I want to show you folks something. Now, personally, I like white meat, but watch when I poke into here. See all the juice come out? Look at that. And you can see the smoke right there, the pink on the outside from the smoke. Now, if you've ever been to Las Vegas and you ever go to the Excalibur Casino, you get a whole Cornish hen if you go to the uh, Tournament of Kings, but you have to eat them by hands. They're pretty good. The seasoning just basted it into the meat so you get all the flavor and the citrus kept it a little more moist that's why when you poke in there you see a lot of juice come out 
So there you have it, folks. Cornish hens done on a Traeger. Like, subscribe for more. And we'll see you folks on the Traeger again. This is Princess N saying goodbye for now.